In today's video, we're diving deep into a filament that gives your prints a nearly holographic look. We'll talk about how it's made, the stunning results it can bring to your 3D prints, comparing several dual color filaments, from the cheapest to the most expensive that we could find here. And as a bonus, I will show you a few tricks I use to control the color transition. So if you want to learn everything about this filament, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, grab a seat, and let's go. You've probably spent some time watching filament coming out from your printer's nozzle. I will admit, I love just watching it print. And if you didn't know, filament is made in a very similar way to how your 3D printer works. It's extruded, but instead of a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, it's pushed through a much larger extrusion head, which is later stretched down to the standard 1.75 millimeters diameter we use in 3D printing. In these clips, I recorded during my last visit to a manufacturer here in Brazil, as you can see, a standard extruder make a black filament. To put it simply, a piston pushes PLA pellets into a heated chamber, and out comes a filament strand, just like our printers do, but in a much bigger scale. Now, with dual color filament, we've got two separate extruders feeding two different colors into one die, creating a filament split right down the middle. This creates an amazing effect on your prints. Instead of shifting colors based on the height, like rainbow filaments, dual color filaments shift based on on angle. You can actually see both colors coming out of the nozzle at the same time side by side. That means your print will reflect different colors depending on how the angle you look at it. And if you rotate it in your hand, you watch the color shift before your eyes. When I show this to someone who doesn't know 3D print, they are always blown away by this. It adds a lot of value to specific models. Personally, I love using on dragons, stones, insects, like the ones you are seeing in this video. Let me know in the comments, have you ever print with dual color filament? What kind of model would you print with it? But here's a crucial detail. For the filament to work properly and deliver that cool shifting effect, it needs to be wound correctly on the spool. Take a look at the STL Flix dual coil filament spool. The winding is consistent and precise all the way through. This means that once it's loaded into your printer, it's very unlikely that the filament will rotate or flip. So the color orientation stays consistent through the print. To really test this, I bought a few dual color filaments at different price points. The STL Flix one for 14 bucks for subscribers, one for $16, one for $23, and the most expensive for $45. The STL Flix spool, which is easier to analyze thanks to the clear plastic, it stayed perfectly consistent and gave us a flawless transition through the print. The second one had transition issues, likely caused by poor winding that got worse toward the end of the spool. The 23 filament gave the worst result. Inconsistent winding caused the transition to flip mid-print. And finally, the 45 spool gave excellent results too, with a very consistent wind just like the STL Flix one. Now, let's talk about how we did these tests. Did you notice that in all the dragons, I tried to align the color split right down the center of the face? Well, let me show you how to actually control that. Remember how I showed this two color filaments coming out of your nozzle. When your printer lays it down, depending on the direction the nozzle is moving, one color will become more visible than other in that region. When it moves left, for example, you might see more green. When it moves right, more blue. You can see this clearly in this print I made with 0.8 millimeter nozzles, so the lines are easier to see. The outer wall and the skirt change color depending on the nozzle's direction in the G-code. Even the infused zig and zag lines show this. Going one way, green dominates. Coming back, blue takes over. Flip the print over and you see the colors are inverted. In other words, the visible color depends on the path of the nozzle. This becomes even clearer when you use concentric infill. The outer lines in one direction show one color. The inner lines in the opposite direction reveal the other. You won't get this holographic look in cube models or flat walls. Each face just shows one color, but in organic shapes or cylinders, it's super smooth and streaking, like on this crystal model, for example. Just a heads up, 
even if your filament is wound perfectly, the color orientation can still shift. It's less likely, but in bolding printers or prints with lots of retractions, the risk goes up. In direct drive setups or models with fewer retractions, the risk goes way down. Vase mode, for example, is a good way to go. But let's go back to the question. How do I align the color transition exactly where I want it? Like the center of the dragon's face. Here's what I do. I print a basic XYZ cube or cylinder to figure it out where the color split is on the build plate. Once I've done that, I position my model based on the reference. There's also a super detailed test model on printables with a built-in protractor to help you align this perfectly. Using that test, I was able to print this vase with the color transition perfectly aligned in the front. So when you turn it slightly, you see the magic happen. Let me know in the comments what you think of this trick. To sum it all up, with well wound filaments and a bit of test printing to find the right direction, your dual color prints can look absolutely amazing as you wish. Just remember, most dual color filaments like the Estelflix ones are also silk filaments, so they require slightly higher temperatures to print well. If your goal is maximum shine, reducing your print speed can help boost the gloss finishing. I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments what else you like to see in our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. As Bruno always says, Happy printing.